If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Hi guys, welcome to Life with Gaz and in this video today what I'm going to be doing is preserving some worm. Now I do have a trip planned for tomorrow so I'm going to keep some worm fresh by putting them in the fridge in some very damp sand in a little tub and this is going to keep them alive ready for me to use tomorrow morning. But I have dug too many, I didn't go over the top but you can see just in that bucket I've got a fair few in there. So what I'm going to do is freeze some down for a day when I can't get out digging and I'm going to show you the way in which I do this. Now this is only the way that works best for me and the way that I prefer. There are loads of different ways of doing this. You can salt and oil them, you can salt them, you can just freeze them straight down in loads of different ways. But I'm going to take you through the process which I do which is blanching the things and I think they make a superb little bait. Before you can freeze them, you've got to find them and then get them out of the sand. Finding them, just look for the swirls of sand down at your low water marks and there's the worm underneath them. And to get the worm out, I just put the pump about two to three inches away from the swirl, angle it towards the swirl to intercept the burrow, pull the handle as the pump fills up with sand, then I yank the bottom of the pump out and that suction generally pops the worm out up on the sand like you can see here. Sometimes not all the worm comes out. If you just get the tail come up, try and grab the worm as far down the body as you can and gently pull him out and you should get your worm. Sometimes I gut them on the beach, sometimes I don't. These I'm gutting because they're going to be safe for a few days. What I like to do is give them a quick squeeze and then wrap them around the bait pump just like this and that then relieves them of all the guts and they're ready to just go in the bucket to be packed but you don't have to squeeze them to start them off you can just rub them straight around the pump and that works just as well just for me the other way is a habit I've added this in so I've had a few people ask me how I get the worm off the beach this is the way I find works best for me but there's loads of other ways of doing it and now we've got all the worm down in the bucket what I'm going to do is give them a quick wash off and take them home ready to sort them so first of all, selecting the worm, I'm just going to drain some of the water out of these because I don't need that. And then I'm going to pick the worm, which look like they're going to survive best in the fridge. And the rest I'm going to freeze down. Now to freeze them down, I'm going to gut them first. And uh, what I'm going to do is just pick through them all now. So now they're all sorted, I've got the guts in this bucket just here with a bit of the juice which came out of them as well. I've got the pile that I'm freezing down and I've got this load which are going in the fridge. There's about 20 in there and that should do me fine for my trip tomorrow. Next, just bring a pan of water up to the boil. Now with all these worms I've got here, there's too many to go in there and one go to cool the water too much, so I'm going to just do these in two halves. And all they need is a quick dunk in there, just like that. Let that come back up to the boil and what will happen is, is the worm will turn green in there and that's about when you know they're done. They only need about sort of 15 to 20 seconds once that water starts uh, boiling again. Now that water has started boiling again, you can see it just starting to churn itself over there. Those worm have had their 15 to 20 seconds, they're about done. I'm gonna drain them off and stick them on the side on a bit of paper to cool for a bit. So the next bit is to just wrap these guys in packs of tens and when I wrap them in packs of tens you just do it the same as you wrap any worm which is taken from a bait shop just wrap it over itself, fold the ends in and away you go I just gotta make sure the worm aren't touching each other when you do this And the final bit, stopping the pack stick together when they're in the freezer, just give them a little wrap of cling film, just like that. And then this way, I can get them out one at a time without pulling out an old block of uh, frozen worm packs all in one go.
Well, I said I didn't go too mad. I've obviously done a bit more than I thought. Yeah, because I've got 100 frozen worm here plus the other 20 in the fridge. So the 100 frozen worm, that's going to do me at least 5 to 10 sessions out on days where I can't get any worm off the beach because of tides or work commitments. Well, I hope you guys have found that helpful. I find this a very good technique for freezing bait. It definitely works for me in the area that I fish in. And if you want to see how well it works, just check out some of my other fishing videos. Now, every worm I dig makes its way to the hook, so I never ever waste bait, which is always a bonus in my eyes. Now, if you've liked this episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here. Check out another fishing video over here or even my full playlist and you'll see some of these frozen worms getting used just up here.